Hi, what's poppin'? It's your boy Big Rich, Queens, New York City, where we get busy. Tuesday evening business. Ladies and gentlemen, just come on in, wipe your feet on the rug, please. Throw some smoke in the atmosphere. Don't be greedy. I just lit up some Project 4516. I'll let you do the due diligence. Project 4516. Big Rich gets all the flavors. I got me. I get everything. Let's get right into business. RuckusRadioMerch.com is now open for business. Get all your favorite mob stories, merch, coffee cups, sweatshirts, t-shirts, and with more stuff coming. We got our Disgraciad line coming. We got our business line coming. We got our throw your smoke in the air for the smokers line coming. We're just creating, and the creating process takes time. This is simple, yeah? This is right to the point. This is also good business. But I got Vic Vega, the creator behind all the designs, thinking up some proper designs, right? Thank you for everyone. That has ordered something already. We humbly thank you. Let's get right into business. This next article coming out of gangstersreport.com. By the way, my man Scott Bernstein, salute to you. You know the link to the article will already be in the description box. Let's get right into it. Salute to all my people in Chicago. Chicago outfit power Jimmy Eyes pal on the ropes with brain cancer. Cicero crew bookie gets prison sentence halted. Oh, you think? He only has brain cancer. One of alleged Chicago outfit underboss James Jimmy I in Andino's top bookies is at death's door. Last week, veteran Cicero crew bookmaker Greg Ploian was granted a medical delay for his report date to federal prison where he's slated to serve two and a half years for an illegal gambling and money laundering conviction. The 66-year-old Ploian's doctors don't think he'll make it that long. Polonian was recently diagnosed with stage 4 brain cancer. Damn. And reportedly only has months left to live. He pled guilty back in January stemming from an October 2020 bust of his Elmwood Park and Melrose Park sports betting racket and was sentenced to 30 months in prison in April. Polonian's rap sheet includes convictions for racketeering, bookmaking, and loan sharking. Both local and federal authorities have linked in to Jimmy I's Cicero regime for decades. Because of his Armenian heritage, can never be made into the Chicago Mafia, which is an Italian organization. As part of a 1988 racketeering case, Polonian admitted his friendship with Inendino and the fact that he would send his bookmaking customers in need of a street loan to Jimmy I. The Fed suspect Inendino, sometimes also referred as Jimmy the Ice Pick or Jimmy from the Currency Exchange. Jimmy from the Currency Exchange fucking names are the best or taking part in multiple gangland murders as a member of the outfits long defunct wild bunch execution squad the wild bunch acted as cicero cruz enforcement wing during the 1970s and early 1980s and endino 78 had led the cicero crew since 2010 Per sources, he was recently promoted to the organization's number two slot. Jimmy I did 80 years in federal prison for racketeering in the 2000s. When the feds raided Polonian's residence in 1996, agents discovered 200000 in cash, a cachet of jewelry, and a box containing uncut diamonds and South African Krugerrand. A Polonian-owned trucking company was probed in the much-publicized hired truck scandal from the early 2000s. However, he was never indicted in the case. And see, here's the problem. I mean, this guy's dying of brain cancer, and, and you know, they're, they're probably waiting to see if he dies. If he doesn't die, they'll still throw him in jail. They don't care. But the thing is, here's what bothers me. See, the government, the greatest organized criminal organization in the world, with the power to write law, I mean, come on, Right? You got a monopoly on the law and then you break it. It's okay for them to have lotto and quick pick and scratch offs. And you see all these degenerate gamblers lined up every day, giving up their money, scratching off. Scr- That's okay. Why? Why is that okay? But if uh, I want to start uh, lending out money on the street or if I want to uh, start running numbers, you throw me in fucking jail. Somebody tell me how this shit is. You, know, you understand what I'm saying? One plus one don't equal two here. All right, anyway, Big Rich, Queens, New York City, where we get busy. Let me know what you're smoking on. Like I said, Project 4516. Let me know what you're smoking on. Let me know what city you're smoking in. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Don't forget that ruckusradiomerch.com is open for business. We will talk soon. Salute.